Hi guys, you are on VRM24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone LG V40 ThinQ. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the combined tray for SIM cards and memory cards. After that we need to heat the surface of the back cover to approximately 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 10 minutes we can proceed to the assembly. To detach the back cover we will use a plastic film. It is a protective film from a new display or a film from the stationary store. We insert it into the gap between the display frame and the back cover and run it along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. Usually the back cover is very firmly glued, but in our case it is glued really loosely. So in your case the back cover will be much more difficult to detach and so you need to be careful. On the back cover there is a fingerprint sensor with a contact pad. Actually that is why the cover is glued really tight. After that we need to unscrew the screws. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or HTO. The screws seem to be all the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order just in case. And we need a non-metal tool to detach the cover with the loudspeaker and antenna tracks. We find the right place where we can pry and leave the cover. And only after that we can detach the cover hiding the motherboard. We also find the right place where we can pry and leave the cover. And with a non-metal tool we disconnect the battery connector. Then we disconnect the front camera connector. We disconnect the display connector. Disconnect the coaxial cable connector and also disconnect the connector connecting the subboard to the motherboard. After that we find the right place where we can hook and leave the motherboard. Make sure there is nothing in the way and remove the motherboard. and we can detach the cameras. Carefully disconnect the connectors and take out one camera. And then assembly of two rear cameras. On the motherboard there are the card connectors. And we can detach and take out the front camera assembly, which is slightly recessed into the display frame. Well, we move on to disconnecting the headset jack port connector on the subboard. And then we try to detach the cable that connects the subboard to the motherboard. And then, of course, we need to remove the subboard. We carefully, using a thin tool, peel off the cable and also carefully detach the subboard. Please note that from the subboard there is a small cable with a microphone, which is also glued to the display frame and which we need to carefully unglue. On the subboard we have the charging port and microphone and other elements on the back side. And our traditional quick test. 
we have an L-shaped hole in the display frame. If we insert any tool into the hole, we can hardly damage the body of the microphone. Then, using a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver, we can unscrew one screw securing the headset jack port in place. And hook the edge, lift it up and remove headset jack port, which is also recessed into the display frame. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. In the beginning, we try to gently lift the battery to run the plastic film. Finding the right spot, we leave the battery, run the film and try to cut off the adhesive base. As we continue to run the film, it becomes clear to us that the battery is not held tightly at all. There is a feeling that the battery is held only on one side, and we can try to detach it with our hands. It is hard to tell if the battery has been removed before us or not, however, we detach the battery with our bare hands. I can say for sure that your experience will be obviously different. So, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay, guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.